Hey guys, here's an example problem for calculations with uh, conservation of energy. Um, so we're going to be, uh, you know, just working through this problem. Uh, take a second to copy it down. Uh, a few things I'd like to point out. we got the title. We have the ski slope here. We have the skier at four different positions. Uh, a, they're labeled A, B, C, and D. Uh, the mass of the skier is 50 kilograms. Um, letter B is halfway down the slope. Uh, and then we have uh, height as given information for position A. He's, the skier starts at 40 meters up. Halfway down, it's only 20 meters up. Uh, position C, the skier is a little further down, only 10 meters up. And letter D, you could write down because they're at ground level that the height is zero, all right? Um, another thing, for each position, uh, the goal of our problem, you gotta copy this box here, because the goal of our problem is to literally fill in every blank in that box. There are four boxes, each of them have three blanks for KE, GPE, and total energy. Uh, remember that the KE and the GPE add up to make the total. Uh, so, uh, one last thing we should write down though is for position A, uh, we should write down that the skier starts at rest, alright, so <clears throat> they don't have any speed in the beginning of the problem, they only gain the speed as they go down the hill. Um, so pause the video real quick, copy this down, then you can restart it as we work through the problem. All right, so I hope you're back now, and uh, we could start with position A, uh, where the skier does uh, start at rest. So, uh, what what do we what could we say about that? We mean they have no speed, and if they have no speed, uh, then they have no kinetic energy. So when something starts at rest, it has zero joules of kinetic energy. Okay, so that's one blank we could fill in. Uh, Alright, so uh, one other piece of information we're given is height. So if we have height for letter A, we can go ahead and calculate GPE. Mass times gravity times height is our formula, okay? So the mass we're given is 50 kilograms, G is 9.8, and the height for letter A is right here, it's 40 meters tall. So I'm gonna go to my calculator, 50 times 9.8 times 40, and, what, it's thinking. 